Well, there's a new Netflix holiday musical with a star-studded cast about an inventor and toy maker whose latest creation he believes will change his family's life forever. Here's a look at Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. Jangle, for the last 30 years, you've been promising something sensational. I need more time. Either come up with the money you've borrowed by Christmas or show me the revolutionary invention you once promised. I would lose everything. What's wrong, Grandpa? I had a perfect life. Loving family and a magical shop. Till an old friend took it all. But he didn't get this. And one of the stars of the film, Justin Cornwell, joins us now. Hey, Justin. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, good, Justin. Welcome to the show. So good to see you. I hear that you got your professional start right here in Chicago. Oh, my gosh. I sure did. I mean, this town has given me so much confidence in my craft and so much, you know, work ethic and energized me to go out there and do what I had to do. I mean, I sent in a self-tape while I was living here and I got my first role on CBS, uh, my first big uh, leading role in the CBS show Training Day right from here. So it was it was almost like I was in Chicago and then I was in L.A. Yeah. What was your very first project here in Chicago? Hmm. Um, you know, it's kind of my first project, uh, maybe with speaking lines. I, I did Chicago PD. Hmm. But okay. My very first uh, project here in theater was the, at the Chicago Shakespeare Theater. I did Othello the Remix. If you guys remember back uh, that back in 2012, 2013, uh, it was all the rage at the time. We took Shakespeare and put some hip hop to it. Uh, yeah. The brothers, uh, they just, you know, it was it won Jeff Awards that year. And it was it was such an amazing experience. I went on to work with with them for a few more years and um, more and more, you know, opportunities came while I was here in Chicago. And it was it was it was a really good time for me. That's, you know what, now that you say that, I think I do remember us talking about that. That was early on in Windy City Live's history, 2012, 2013, but I do remember that. So tell us, I know you're in LA now, but it's all about Chicago. What was your favorite part of being here in our city? Okay, so every single day I had to get up. I, I actually sold my car. I had to get up and I had to walk down Lakeshore Drive to get to the Shakespeare Theater. It was like about two or three miles from my apartment and I lived in Uptown. And so I had the, I had a bike at one point. So I get on that that um, that drive, that Lakeshore Drive, the trail. And you, when you're coming up from uptown, going uh, downtown, <laughs> it is the, it's like the buildings come out of the, the the come out of the floor, and they and it just overtakes you. And, and every day, even when it's cold, you're like, oh man, I love being in the city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's how I felt every day. Yeah. We try to say that in the winter, but it gets tougher and tougher as we get older. Hey, let's talk about the film. Uh, Val and I both had a chance to see it. I, I really think this is going to be the feel-good holiday movie of the season. And you get to play a pretty special role, playing a young Forrest Whitaker. I mean, that has to be pretty surreal, considering what an icon he is. I mean, the guy is one of my favorite actors of all time. Ghost Dog, come on, you know what it is. I mean, <laughs> I love Forrest Whitaker. He's been in most of the movies that are on my top list and being able to sit down with him, talk about craft, being able to share our experiences and create a character together. We got to sit down and create this character together. And it was, it was like being in a master class while also being at work. And I couldn't have asked for a better experience. He's one of the most humble, patient people that you're ever going to meet. He's very present. I, I love working with him and David. Everyone in this cast is absolutely amazing. I mean, you got to see this. Yeah, you really do have to see this movie. Was that your first time meeting Forrest Whitaker? That was my very first time meeting Forrest Whitaker, but I felt like I knew him a little bit. He was, you know, I, I got, I, I took so much of his art, you know, in my own craft that I feel like I knew him a little bit, but meeting him, it's, it's, it was such a cool experience just being able to, to share this with him. Now, yeah. let, me ask, oh, uh, let me ask you this, because there are a lot of wonderful, beautiful musical scenes in there. Um, were you always a dancer like that? I was, you know, I mean, I could cut a rug at the high school dance. Oh, okay. People knew me. And when it came time for that, that school dance, it was like, you know, I was had my B-boy on, you know, I was doing my thing. Um, I am not a trained dancer. I've taken dancing classes and I've done choreography for other things and I've danced in on stage and in theater professionally. So um, even though I wasn't trained, I'm 
trained in choreography and all these different kinds of things so I can learn the moves very well. I've been dancing my whole life. I love dance. Uh, I love to sing. And uh, yeah, I got that great track at the beginning that I get to sing. And it's just, you know, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, and I know you're a big Willy Wonka fan from what I've read. I know, is the character, is it true, is loosely based a little bit or inspired by Gene Wilder? I think so. I mean, uh, when I read the, the sides for the um, for the script, I said, oh, this, I think he's trying to do what he did in Willy Wonka. And so I gave him that and he goes, ah, you knew what I was doing. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so him and... Um, he was like, give me some gene, give me some genisms, you know, what, what are those things? And I didn't, he didn't have to go too far to learn them because I knew, I know that movie inside and out. It was my favorite movie. Number one on my list still um, is just magical. I used to go out every theater show and say, come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. That was just kind of like the thing that psyched me up for giving the audience an illusion or a story or something fun to watch or something to be entertained by. And I mean, I lived my life, <laughs> by a lot of mantras in that film. So I am a big Willy Wonka fan. And I think he just kind of gathered a bunch of Willy Wonka nerds together and put this out there because <laughs> I love That's it. That's amazing. And Val, you have you seen that movie yet, Val? What, Brian, really? <laughs> okay. That's what we on today? <laughs> it's a classic. He like you know what I thought we were past embarrassing each other on TV, but that's okay because I'm gonna get him back, Justin. Let, uh, now back to you because this interview is not about me. Um, you've done so many Shakespearean, Shakespearean plays in the past, but what was it like being in a full black cast set in Victorian times? That had to be super dope. Um, it was amazing. Since I had played in that world of Victorian times so much, I just kind of fell right into it. Um, but seeing everyone dressed the way that they were and having all the multi multicultural people on set in the, as in the, in the dancers and, and Hugh Bonneville and Ricky Martin and all these people coming together. But seeing the perspective being told, the narrative being told through black eyes just made me feel seen. It made me feel understood. Mm -hmm. Like I was sitting there with David, like, are we really making this? Like, are we, this is, we get to do this? Like, he's like, I don't even, I don't know why they let me do it. Oh my God. I was like, <laughs> Well, it's a fantastic yeah, just, like, film, Justin. It's fantastic, and it has a 95 on Rotten Tomatoes. I just looked. I know. I mean, and it, ugh, gosh, I mean, it's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for you, Justin. Thank you for chit-chatting with us and telling us all about the film. You and your family can catch Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey, now streaming on Netflix. And like we said, you should watch it.